Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing a foundation first impression and a 10 hour wear test on the Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker. I believe this is like some sort of BB cream, but if you would like to see my thoughts, please keep watching. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin and then I will read you guys some information about this foundation. So I'm going to use the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. I really, really like this stuff. I tried to buy an extra one of the Essence Primers and they were all sold out. So <laughs> that means something, right? And then for some extra hydration, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer Mist. So let's talk about the packaging first and then we'll go in with some details. So it does come in like just this little like kind of pot container. It's weird. I've never seen anything like it. And then on top, it comes with a highlighter and a corrector. So you just pop this open by pulling that pink tab and then you have your corrector and your highlighter, which the corrector actually looks a little dark. I have the shade light. And I feel like that corrector looks orange, so I guess we'll find out. And then you just unscrew the top and it comes with a spatula, like you can see here. So it's very interesting. All right, so I'm on the Wet n Wild website. That's also where I purchased this. This retails full price at $8.99, but it's on sale right now for $5.84. This only comes in six shades, so that's not a lot, but... Um, it says it's a 3-in-1 sheer BB cream highlighter and corrector. It has 3.9 stars out of 27 reviews. It says this innovative 3-in-1 design provides you with an imperfection softening BB cream, a glow boosting highlighter, and a peach color corrector to knock out dark circles. Okay, so that would be why the corrector looks a little dark. For a flawless complexion, conveniently packaged in a travel-friendly component for beauty junkies and fitness lovers on the go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. This line is supposed to be like workout makeup or something like that. It's cruelty free. It says first apply BB cream all over face. Next apply corrector as necessary. Finally add highlighter on your cheekbones, upper lip and brow bone for all over for an all over sheer glow. So as always, I'm going to do this side with my actually my damp wet and wild sponge. This is really good. And then I'm going to do this side with a brush. I feel like mine kind of has like a pinky undertone to it, so I'm just going to take a little bit on the spatula. Apply it. Actually, a little bit goes a long way. I feel like I saw somebody say that this was full coverage. Yeah, mine definitely has kind of like a pink undertone to it. Since it is starting to get hotter like I would rather wear something that's like kind of just evens out my skin tone and not like a thick layer of foundation you know what I mean so my goal for this foundation is just to get an even skin tone that's it not necessarily full coverage so I'm just going to add a little bit more kind of looks like a lot huh and then I'm gonna blend it out some more with a sponge it feels really lightweight two applications with a sponge sponge looks really nice I feel like that really kind of evened out my skin tone I feel like that first application just wasn't enough product but I feel with adding a little bit more I'm happy with how it looks and I know I have that like dewier primer underneath but I feel like this BB foundation stuff kind of has like a glow to it anyways. So let's add some on this side and then use a brush. I don't really like the spatula, honestly. It's kind of hard to put it on. I busted out this Makeup Geek brush. I haven't used this in a long time, so we'll see. But this is the Makeup Geek Face Buffer Brush. I think I like it better with, I'm definitely getting more coverage with the brush, but I think I like how it looks better applied with the sponge. This shade is pulling so pink on my skin. It's weird because I feel like, I don't know what's happening, but I feel like before my skin tone 
was usually like a neutral cool undertone and now I feel like my skin tone is like a yellow undertone like it totally changed I'm I don't know maybe I'm crazy but that's how I feel so it does look okay with a brush but I think I yeah it looks more like a natural finish applied with a brush and then with the sponge it still kind of gave me like a glow which is what I want but if you don't want to be super glowy with this BB cream, then definitely apply with a brush. But I like how it looks better with a sponge. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more, kind of just everywhere, I guess. And then I'm gonna blend everything out with the sponge because I like how that looks. Like, I would expect the lightest shade, which I think was like porcelain or something, to have more of like a pink undertone, I guess. I don't know. It's weird too because I feel like I didn't watch a ton of videos of people using this but I feel like I saw somebody use this and they had like they got it to like full coverage and I'm like how much did you use you know because I feel like I just used a lot and I'm getting like light coverage which if this is made for like workout makeup and you really just want to have an even skin tone which I think that's the idea behind this this is perfect. I mean, I can still see, like, a little bit of, like, redness on my forehead from some pimples. But it doesn't look terrible. Like, I would be okay, like, walking out of the house like this. Just like this, without concealer, powder, or anything like that. Like, I would be okay with this. But I'm curious to see. I do plan on wearing this for 10 hours, like I always do. So, I wonder how it's going to hold up, you know? So, this is what my skin looks like up close. I feel like it looks really fresh like it still looks like my skin and I love how it looks really dewy I think that has to do with the primer that I used as well I think it's also weird that they put a peach color corrector in here when I feel like for lighter skin tones a salmon color corrector is like more flattering so I don't know I'm just gonna use my ring finger I don't know yeah I don't I guess we're gonna find out I'm just gonna pat that underneath my eye with this with my finger yeah like I said I feel like it feels really creamy though I wish it was like a salmon color though like if it was like the Becca under eye corrector the brightener like this guy right here that is super dewy looking and it kind of looks like a under eye highlighter in a way I feel like if it was like that exact shade like this would be like one of my go-to things to wear in the summertime if I didn't want a lot of makeup or not even in the summertime just like in general but like this like I feel like I could leave the house if it was a salmon color and I wouldn't feel like I looked funny like I feel like I look funny like I have to put a concealer on top of this I guess is what I'm saying if it was a salmon shade I would probably just leave it but I can't with this weird peach looking shade it makes me wonder why they chose this unless you know what i just thought of i wonder if you're supposed to apply the peach corrector first and then go over on top of it with the bb cream i bet you that's what i was supposed to do so now i'm just going to take my middle finger and i'm going to get into the cream highlight just want to see oh it looks pretty sheer it's kind of like a silvery pink shade Yeah, I think this is pretty. Maybe I'll go over my under eye with a little bit of the BB cream and just see what that looks like. Because I think that's what I was supposed to do. Yeah, this highlighter is really sheer, but I think it complements the BB cream really well because the BB cream is like light coverage and I feel like if you had like a super intense cream highlight it might just not, it wouldn't like look even I guess is what I'm saying. I feel like the highlighter and the BB cream like look really nice together. I'm going to play a little bit above my brow. 
so I don't really want to set my face with powder because I want to keep that glow so I think I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a cream bronzer and a cream blush and then not set it but the only bad thing about not setting your face when it's like super dewy like this is like I feel like when the wind blows my hair gets stuck in my face and then I'll put like little lines like a strand of hair will like drag across my face you know what I mean that's the only downside about not setting a sticky face but I'm not gonna go anywhere today I do plan on working out like later on in the day so we'll see how long this like holds up but so this is what my skin looks like up close with the cream highlighter and the cream corrector like I think that highlighter looks really nice on top of the BB cream so I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the BB cream just a smidge on the back of my hand and I want to go over my under eyes with it and see if that help covers up that peach stuff. I think I need just a little bit more. I'm just gonna put like a little dot right there. Yeah, okay, I think that's what you're supposed to do because now this looks good. I mean, it's still light coverage underneath my eyes and I have a lot of like blue green veins I don't really have bags but I can still see a little bit of like that blue green but it's not terrible like I don't mind like it I would be okay like I said like going out in public like this because it still looks like my skin but better I kind of want to get a darker shade of this because I'm gonna start getting tan obviously it being summer and all so I kind of want to get a darker shade of this because I feel like it would be like really nice to have so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll let you guys know what, what products I used and I will be right back. But let's go ahead and do the call time. So it's 11.58 so we'll just make the call time noon and I'll be right Just back. realized that I didn't apply my lips yet but I'll do that here in a minute. So I went in with my CoverGirl True Blend Contour Palette. I love this. I've talked about this a few times on my channel. I just used the contour and the bronzer and I applied it with this elf brush and then I went on top of it with the damp sponge just to blend it out even more and then for blush I use the Paracone MD no blush blush for brows I went in with just brow powder this time and then a brow gel and I think I'm gonna start doing my brows like this because honestly I wear my bangs down majority of the time so you can't really see my brows anyways so there's really no point of me spending you know like 20-30 minutes on my brows when you can't see them but I just used my Kat Von D brow powder in the shade blonde and I saw that this is on sale on Sephora right now for like nine dollars or something like that to set them and then just to add a little bit more like volume to my brows I use the wet and wild ultimate brow mascara this is in the shade blonde I believe where's the shade blonder over yonder is the shade and then to really stick them down to my face I went on top of that with my model in a bottle long lasting eyebrow sealer so here's my dilemma okay so if I didn't have bangs I would just leave my face like this and not even think twice but I do plan on wearing my bangs down today so therefore I don't really want to leave my forehead sticky because I don't want my bangs to like stick to it so I think I am going to set my forehead but just my forehead, nothing else. So I just wanted to let you guys see what my skin looks like up close. And I, and I just noticed that this brow doesn't match this brow, but story of my life. But yeah, this is what my skin looks like up close. Oh, and I forgot I set my skin with this Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. I didn't want to use a dewy one, and I didn't want to necessarily use a matte one, so I just went with that one. It's kind of just like an in-between. I do feel like it's starting to separate a little bit on my forehead, but not terrible on my nose. It did kind of cling to some dry patches right here, but again, it doesn't look horrible. My cheeks look good. Everywhere looks good, except for like this spot right here on my nose and a little bit on my forehead but I can deal with that so I am going to set my forehead for sure I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Cody airspun powder and set my forehead so that for that pretty forehead glow I had is gonna be no more but I would rather have a matte forehead and not have to worry about my bangs like you know all stuck and you know what actually I take it back I'm gonna set my throat just because I don't want 
that to transfer onto my shirt and I am wearing a white shirt so well on the plus side of me setting a few areas on my face we can see what this looks like when you set it with powder so I feel you know what it actually doesn't look terrible set with powder up here again it is clinging to dry patches but obviously powder is going to do that if you have dry patches um down here looks good though like I don't have any dry patches on my neck and I did set it down there and that looks nice but yeah my forehead doesn't look terrible set with powder so I think if you wanted to set this BB cream with a powder you definitely could so I'm just gonna quickly line my lips with Kylie Candy K and then um if you guys saw my last full face of first impressions I used this NYX filler instinct plumping lip polish and I was like oh I bet that'd be really pretty by itself I put it on top of a lipstick but I want to put it on today and just see what it looks like it's weird because when I used this plumping gloss in that video, I didn't feel anything. Like, no tingle, no nothing. And now I do, so... I don't know. It's almost like the lipstick that I wore underneath it in that video, like, kept it from plumping my lips. Maybe that's, like, a known thing. I don't know. But this is really pretty. It looks really pretty by itself. I love it. So everything on my face feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any makeup, so that's a plus. I'm pretty happy with the coverage. I'm really happy with how my skin looks and everything. I have no complaints so far. However, I don't think that this is going to last the full 10 hours, but we'll see. Like, I might actually end up having to take it off before I work out. I don't know. Maybe we'll just see. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I'll be back here for my first check-in in four hours, and I'll let you guys know how everything's going. Hey, guys. So I'm back for my first check-in. It is 4 40. So I've had this BB cream, I almost said foundation, I've had this BB cream on for about almost five hours and I did already sneak a peek in a mirror and uh yeah so I'm just gonna look again. Yeah it's exactly what I thought. So it is starting to break apart around here so this is definitely not a long wearing BB cream which most BB creams aren't so I'm definitely not going to hold that against this product. I again think that this BB cream was geared towards workout makeup. I think that was the idea behind it so I'm assuming that they just wanted this to last long enough for a workout, right? I think. Um, and it definitely, I mean, okay, so my cheeks look fine. Like, my cheek makeup looks okay. My neck makeup looks okay. I did have to set my under eyes a smidge with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder just a little bit. I just set, like, right on my lash line because that's where I crease. Let's see what my forehead looks like because that's what I set with powder. Oh, Okay, so with powder, it looks really good. Like, it hasn't started to break down or anything. And it kind of, it's weird because it still looks like skin. It just looks like matte skin. But not like a matte makeup finish. Does that make sense? Like, it just looks like my natural skin is matte. Like, that actually doesn't look bad at all. Like, that looks pretty good. Like I said, my cheeks look pretty good. My nose actually looks pretty good, and that's a first for in a long time. But yeah, around here just does not... It doesn't, it doesn't look terrible, but it definitely is breaking up. So, um, but you know, almost five hours in for a BB cream, it's holding up better than I expected. So let's do a close-up. And then you can see my forehead, how matte it is, but it still looks like my skin. Like, it doesn't necessarily look like I'm wearing makeup. So what I'm thinking now is I feel like this is going to be one of those things that if I'm going to go run errands for, like, two hours, that I would be okay with wearing this. Again, it doesn't look bad five hours in. I just don't like how this looks. And if I'm going to be wearing something for that long, then I definitely want to wear something that is not going to do that, especially if I have the option. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this would be good, like I said, if you got to run errands for a couple hours and you want something lightweight, quick, and you're out the door, this is perfect like I think this is gonna be so perfect for the summertime it's light it just 
evens out your skin tone and it comes with the corrector and then you saw when I put the corrector on top of the BB cream you could still see it but when I went over on top of it with the BB cream everything just looked great and I really like the highlighter with it so I'm definitely considering buying a darker shade for the summertime when I have a tan because so far I like it so yeah um i'll see you guys back here for my eight hour check-in and then i think after my eight hour check-in i'm gonna do my workout and then we'll see because that means this has been on for eight hours and then if i work out for like an hour i don't know we'll see how it holds up so hey guys so i'm back for my final check-in i actually missed my eight hour check-in because i went to go exercise and that turned into like a two hour workout so usually I like to do my first check-in at four hours, second check-in at eight hours, and then at the 10 hour mark, I like to like sum everything up, you know, but I apologize. So let's look. I definitely broke a sweat. So I just want to see, maybe I don't want to see what my skin looks like. Oh, sorry. You can see it's 10.05. My forehead looks really good, and remember, I set that with powder. Um, my nose actually looks surpri surprisingly good. All of this does not look good. It completely separated all the way around my mouth. Um, my cheeks still look good, I guess. My under eyes still look decent. It's, like, weird because I feel like the places that I set with powder look amazing. Um, I thought for sure that if I just left it alone that it would be okay, like, if I didn't set my whole face with powder. But now I'm starting to think that if I set my whole face with powder, it'd probably look really good still because my forehead looks really good. Like, it didn't separate or anything like it did around here, and I didn't set that. So this is what my skin looks like after 10 hours of wearing this. So I definitely think that this is worth the money. I do have dry to normal skin and right now I have some dry flakes. I don't know what's going on. I exfoliate. I like put extra moisturizer on and like I don't know my skin is just doing something right now but um it did cling to my dry patch right here and it did cling to a couple dry patches up here at the beginning but now it looks fine so I don't know what's up with that but um I feel like if you have oily skin you might not like this but I think if you set it with powder and you just want something like quick and like out the door I think this would be perfect if you have dry skin I think that you would like it more and that's just my personal opinion because I do have dry skin I think it looks okay and I mean it was annoying that it kind of stuck to my dry patches but like I can get over that you know like it wasn't that big of a deal but I think this whole concept is really cool like I like that they have the corrector the highlighter I don't really use a lot of cream highlighter but it's nice that this is in here I think it's very complimentary to the BB cream like it's just enough highlight like it's not like overpowering you know what I mean to where it looks natural the only thing that I thought was a little weird is the shade pulls kind of pink I mean it ended up working out but I just thought that was a little odd I'm not the biggest fan of the applicator but like I can get over that uh I think I will repurchase this in a darker shade for when I have a tan because I do like that I can just like slap it on and if I want to I don't know film a video where I'm not putting on makeup but I'm like doing something else and I just want something quick and fresh just to even out my skin tone and just like make my skin look better like I would totally throw that on for a couple hours and not set it but if I want it to last longer like say I'm going to be gone like half a day or all day even I don't Okay, so I don't know if I would wear this all day. Like, I think if I had plans to be gone all day or just plans in general, I would definitely pick a different foundation to wear because I don't trust this. Even if I set it with powder, like how I did my forehead, like that that looks great. But I just feel like even if I did set this with powder, it might still kind of break up a little bit. So I feel like this would be something that I would grab. Here I go, I'm like repeating myself. But I feel like this is something I would grab if I just needed my face to look good for like two to three hours and I would definitely set it with powder. Um, I did like how it looked though, like how it was all like dewy and luminous and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird because I just prefer how my forehead looks after I set it. So I think, yeah, next time I use that, I'm gonna set it unless I just want something quick out the door. But yeah, definitely check this out if this is something that you think that you're interested in, that you would get a lot of use out of. Like, it's a really cool concept. It'd be cool if they'd come out with, like, foundation like this, honestly, with the corrector and the highlighter. But, 
Anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching my foundation first impression and review on the Wet n Wild BB Locker Cream. Um, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe on your way out and I will see you guys in my next video.